Here we go. All right, open. Hmm, this looks new. Think it's safe? What is it? Uh, okay, uh, caution. There is a dangerous smell, people. Hold on, what is that? This Dis disgust helped, um, Ridey, which was the host, um, not get poisoned. And who kept to from eating broccoli? Do you like broccoli? <laughs> Socially. That is not brightly colored or shaped like a dinosaur. Hold on, guys. It's broccoli! <laughs> yes! Well, I just saved our lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're welcome. Riley is acting so weird. Why is she acting so weird? What do you expect? All the islands are down. Joy would know what to do. That's it. Until she gets back, we just do what Joy would do. Great idea. Anger, fear, disgust. How are we supposed to be happy? Mm. Hey, Riley, I've got good news. I found a junior hockey league right here in San Francisco. And get this, tryouts are tomorrow after school. What luck, right? Hockey. Uh-oh, what do we do? Guys, uh, th th this, uh, here, you you pretend to be Joy. Wouldn't it be great to be back out on the ice? Oh yeah, that sounds fantastic. What was that? That wasn't anything like Joy. Uh, because I'm not Joy? Yeah, no kidding. What are some things that you think are gross and disgusting? Axel, he got a lot. Asparagus. Spinach. <sighs> Bacon was disgusting. Zucchini. Um, it's green, dark green. Um, it tastes like broccoli, which I don't like. The taste is disgusting. And it makes me feel disgusted in <laughs> summer. My brother, he likes, he, um, likes it, but when I'm going to get a spoon from the kitchen, he puts it on my plate, and then I don't notice and I eat it. I, I'll, I, I'll eat anything pretty much. Ready? You eat zucchini? I've done it. I eat it. Oh. No, you are I'll eat it. Yeah, I will. I'll eat anything. When people throw up. Yeah. Okay, so my grandma and grandpa went on their anniversary last month, and my grandma got um, some testing, like, perfume, little things like that. Um, it's going to be a really weird one, but... And then Ozai said he put some on for no reason. He just wanted to smell it, and then I smelt it, and that was disgusting. Whenever I had the, like, uh, how do I explain this? Peach-colored marker, it makes my stomach feel upset. It makes me sick in the stomach. Yeah. Oh, oh jeez. <laughs> Welcome back to our show this week, Meet Your Emotions. This week we have a very special guest on our show who's very fashion conscious, and I know this because she's already told me how much she doesn't like my hair. So please put your hands together and welcome with me our friend, Disgust. Disgust, welcome to our show. Why don't you have a seat on our chair? In that chair? Uh, yeah, what's wrong with our chair? About twice as much as what's wrong with your outfit. What? You don't like my outfits? What is this, 1995? It looks like you stole it straight from Miss Rizzle. Um, well, most of our kids don't even remember what that year was like. They wouldn't know that reference. Some of them weren't even born yet. <laughs> what? Were they, like, born yesterday or something? Well, no, but they won't remember the 90s. Wow. So disgust. What do you do? Um, normally I keep people from leaving the house and looking like you. Um, okay. Anything else? I also keep people from eating gross things like broccoli. But broccoli's good for you. And I keep people from embarrassing themselves, but in your case, I feel like a total failure. That's a pretty negative outlook. And your shoes are so last season. Did I mention the shoes already? Look, I appreciate that you want to look out for us, but I think that it's important to note that we need to look on the inside, and it's not always what's on the outside that matters. What's that mean? 
I mean that sometimes someone who dresses a little funny or a little odd doesn't necessarily make them a bad person. So you mean someone like you? Well, yeah. See, God made us special, and he wants us to look at people on the inside, not necessarily just on the outside. I feel like I'm on a really special episode of Lizzie McGuire or something. Oh, kids are not going to know that reference. Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> Born yesterday. They're good kids, Disgust. You just got to get to know them. Yeah, well, I guess that makes you an okay person. Really? Sure. I mean, you obviously care about these kids and want them to love like Jesus. Why else would you dress like a clown on a Sunday? Oh, I'm going to take that as a compliment. You would. All right, kids, say goodbye to our friend Disgust. Our interview is over, and we'll see you next week. All right, whatever. Nice one, Joy. Nice one. Whoa! No way! We are not eating that. Disgust, it's fine. It passed the five-second rule. The grape touched the ground. It's poison. Oh, come on. It barely touched the ground. Wait, what? You know what else barely what? touches the ground? Yeah. Stray dogs. Hold on. Toenail clippings. Yeah. Roll kill. Hit me up. Dung beetles. Stop it. You can't believe it. Uh, shouldn't we do something? <laughs> no. It's a grape. It's not like we're eating... Broccoli? Ugh, don't even go there. Or boogers. <laughs> You're evil. Or dog food. Shut your mouth!